26 because again I want to show you so I believe now we are already in Colonia Hollywood I mean you can't really tell when I've left one place and moved into the another they're very similar looking but I do want to show you Calle 30 where it's a street full of restaurants and uh, currently has two health food stores on it and again it's very popular with digital nomads and it has look how pretty this is yeah Kai 30 you'll you'll find it also this place here is guarderia prescolar i think they go up to yeah it's an elementary school it's a daycare slash elementary school unfortunately they do make children wear masks at this time so they are open for in person but i saw their kids and i don't know they were if they were all for recess but i think they were just walking from one class to the next or something i'm sure it's a good school I, I, you know but unfortunately the government is imposing these these rules right now on children unfortunately so we are in colonia hollywood as this wall tells us okay um menacee 25 26 again menacee as i mentioned to you guys is one of the mm, probably the most established developers here in playa they specialize in um primarily studios buildings building studios uh, but at the same time oh man this place is closed right now so i'm so confused yeah basic foodie i'm surprised it's closed what's going on i wonder if it's a holiday weekend this place during the week it's uh it's a very popular place basic foodie is called it's it's a very popular cafe again with uh, digital nomads there are some affordable rentals in this neighborhood by the way if uh you know as you can see there are some mexican style buildings so you may be lucky enough well provided that that's what you're looking for like if you're looking for a budget friendly place look at this we're renting furnished studios in this area this place here my uh lovely lady friend susanna runs it it's called diosa vegana the vegan goddess so uh, man is it sunday no oh you know what it is it's Saturday after 5 p.m. That's why places are closed already. <laughs> this is a regular bakery. When I say regular, meaning non-vegan, because I went and asked. I've never been to this place before, but look how pretty it is. It's called Mucho Gusto. And this place I love. I'm not going to go in right now, but it's uh, one of the health food stores that I shop at. It's called Bio Organicos. As far as I know, they have two locations in Playa. One is here. So this is, guys, we're on the corner of Calle 30 and Avenida 25 and i want to show you all these little cafes and restaurants lavanderia and tintoreria means dry cleaning lavanderia yes a lot of as i may have shared in some of my videos a lot of buildings here don't have in-suite laundry uh, because electricity costs are expensive and it's just not what people are used to here like they obviously the more modern buildings would have it and the higher your rent the more the expectation that you would have in-suite laundry for the rest of the people, there are always these common, um, common use public lavanderias, and they will wash and fold your clothes for you, and they will, um, if you need to use like your own unscented detergent, you can specifically request that. That's what I've been doing, anyway, because my apartment doesn't have uh, <laughs> an in-suite laundry. Not yet, anyway. We'll see about that. Mercado 30 Bajo Cafe. This place I absolutely love. I might have gone in here before. I think I've done a couple of Instagram videos from here. Bajo Cafe. Um, you know what? I'm just going to walk in and show you guys. We were here actually last Saturday night. They, they had live music. It's, it's so lovely. And again, very popular with digital nomads during the week. It's packed. And even now, as you can see. But usually, like, if you come here on a weekday, You'll be lucky to get any table. Like right now, it's it's surprising that it's not busier. Sorry, I don't want to be surprising people in the act. <laughs> but, uh, well, what act? Uh, the act of working. <laughs> but, um, yeah, amazing vegan menu, affordable too, popular spot. And uh, right here on this street, we have a couple of modern buildings. This right here is, wow, that's a big dog. He hangs out at the uh, Bajo Cafe. This is the iPlaya building. The iPlaya building, um, they have beautiful modern apartments for rent and they also have three units still available for sale. I can tell you more about those later. This across the street is the Talam building. Again, beautiful modern apartments. 
Um, both buildings have rooftop pools. The iFly building probably more the, like they have a large size rooftop pool, really nice. But yeah, Bajo Cafe, definitely a local favorite. And this right here, again, it appears to be closed right now or about to close, uh, Cafe Orange. Again, these places during the week, they are packed. Rise and shine. Yeah, what is this? This rise and shine. Oh, it's a spa. Spa. Man, I haven't gone for a massage in a long time. Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe I should soon, you know? Um, let me show you something else. This building that you see across the street, it used to be apparently a popular private school. Um, not sure exactly when the transaction happened, but... Uh, big developer, local developer by the name of Simcop bought it and this building, this again we're still in Colonia Hollywood, this building is the site of the upcoming Simca Seba development. I haven't yet spoken to you guys about that. Um, aww. Doggy. Italian restaurants. I haven't been I mean, Italian food. It's not necessarily vegan friendly. This right here you guys is Where my son goes to school. It's a daycare and uh, they go up to grade one. It's called happy kids. My son loves it and uh, Thankfully they have been relaxed about the whole masks on kids although they do have to at least pretend in some cases because they, they had some inspector inspector in, in yeah they had inspectors come in look at this you guys this is um i believe pretty sure this is a baobab tree they uh they are amazing the first time i saw baobab trees was in florida and then i've seen them again in cuba and i've seen a few of them here they are so amazing basically the lianas like those the branches would make this hanging roots and then they would as they hit the ground, they actually turn into roots. It's amazing. Um, I remember reading that somewhere in Africa, there's a baobab tree that some people build a bar inside at the bottom of the tree because the, the tree trunk was so big and it had like a, a hole in it and they were able to build Las Brujas, the witches. Anyway, you kind of get a feel. I wanted to give you guys a feel. This is literally my daily walk where, you know, lately I've been getting some help with Anthony and getting him to school, but um, usually I would walk on the street in the mornings or in the afternoons to pick him up. And across the street, Mis Amores is uh, one of my favorite places in town. I might have shown you this before. <laughs> Paneria. It's a vegan, gluten-free, keto-friendly uh, bake shop. Che Papa, this is a new restaurant that opened, well, Rotisserie. Yeah, you know, that's not going to be my kind of place. However, vegan desserts, it's it's literally scrumptious. I see there are a couple of other um, customers, so I'm not going to bother them right now, but two thumbs up for Paneria. They will also make uh, birthday cakes. And again, not necessarily vegan. It's up to you what you want to ask for. Um, it could be, it could be gluten-free. It could be, yeah, so they, they have, it's like a specialty bake shop, basically. This building across the street is the Aquaterra building. I don't know who the developer is. Um, they do have nice, spacious two-bedroom units. I don't know if they have anything other than two bedrooms. That right there in the background is the Mario Villanueva sports complex. I'm not going to go in, but it's, it's a sizable sports arena where they have a soccer field. And it's open to the public every day except Sundays. And I believe up until, I don't know, I think 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., maybe even open earlier than 8 a.m., 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And again, it may be open even earlier than 8. I just don't know. It may be 7. Um, and yeah, a lot of people like to go running there. They have yoga. They have salsa, bachata classes. There's a palapa where my favorite yoga teacher also gives uh, classes Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 a.m. This place right here is very popular it's a seafood type place my mom loved going there my mom loves seafood so that was her thing this right here you guys we're seeing kind of just the um the corner of the sabia building i'm pretty sure this is a simca building as well and that building in the background there is the um 
that is the Lunada building, which is uh, one of my favorite buildings in Playa. It's got this very distinctive, both of these buildings are beautiful. They have large, beautiful suites. In Sabia, you have uh, either two or three bedroom suites. Lunada is all two bedrooms. And, uh, you know, these are nice upscale buildings. Sabia has a building, has a, has a pool um, on the ground floor, very nice, large size pool. It has a nice size gym. It has a kids playroom. So, you know, I would say it's a family friendly building and so is Lunada. Lunada, again, the yellow and pink building. Very distinctive look and uh, it's a really beautiful building with a gorgeous rooftop. And uh, in the downstairs area, it has a kiddie pool and it has, uh, it doesn't have a kids playroom, but it does have kind of a, an outdoor kids play area. So again, and it has a business center, like it's a very well equipped building. Casa del Sol. So I think I'm, I'm pretty sure now we have left Colonia Hollywood and we're into the Gonzalo Guerrero neighborhood. As I turn left and that right there, I forgot to mention, we left behind Calle 34. Calle 34 is parallel to Avenida Constituyentes and it's, a, it's again one of these larger arteries in Playa. And then we're walking towards Calle 38. Calle 38 again, one of the larger arteries in Playa. And um, oh my God, the cutest little dog. <laughs> As, uh, if I make a left right here on Calle 38 and then another left, I will come on to, um, I will come into this enclosed private neighborhood called Tohoku. It's kind of like a mini Playa car, so it's a, it's a residential neighborhood which has security at the door. And uh, only the people that live there can go 